Good morning. Today is a, an exciting day, I think. Predominantly because I have shoes on for the first time in a week and a half. <laughs> to many of you, that may not seem ridiculous, but uh, my right side is still so swollen that I have a hard time putting them on. Um, and Kyrie helped me put them on this time. So I still can't put them on myself. <laughs> Sometimes I can get a sock on, uh, but that's actually more difficult than a workout. So I get help on that side. But it's also exciting because maybe this will give me the push I need to start using some of this gym equipment that we've had for uh, probably around two years. We got it shortly after we moved to Nashville and I use it sometimes, but not terribly often. I like to go to the gym and be in a different environment and have different surroundings and just kind of separate myself from my home because I think they're two different things, but I, I, I can't do that. So here we are. I have written my own terrible little workout for the day. I am doing a combination of pull and push movements. I will start with the pull movements. I'm doing 10 sets of five of two different pull maneuvers. And I'm only doing 10 sets of five. I'm not doing anything super heavy. I want to do this for more along the lines of endurance really, but I want to actually make sure I get the reps in. Pull-ups for me are not the easiest thing in the world because I don't really train them that often, but every set I'll be rotating between kind of wide-ish grip with my palms facing forward and narrow-ish grips with my palm facing in. And that's to do more, this is for more back and this is more biceps. So kind of switch it up there. And after I do all those, I'm gonna to go to push, which is neutral grip. And that's more for you know chest and a little bit of anterior delts. This will be an incline bench. And then supersetting that with more narrow grip because it's more triceps than anything else. I have my notepad here. I have the tallies because I will lose count the more tired I get. Kiri will join me soon for the push part of it. She's already done way more than enough exercise for the day, I think. She took Bergie and Marsha on a long walk. She took Millie and Bruin on a shorter walk. She took Marsha for a two mile run. And then she did a one hour Orange Theory class, maybe 50 minute Orange Theory class. And then she's gonna do some lifting afterwards. So it's gonna be a busy day for her. She's gonna hopefully sleep really well tonight, uh, but she'll join me at the end of that. This is not the first time I've exercised since I've been hurt, but this is like the first real, I have a plan to do this. I really, now that I think about it, I should try to make it in a certain time frame, right? Because sets of five with reasonably light weights, like I can make it very easy if I have long wait times, but if I like set a timer for myself and make sure I do this in a certain amount of time, then that makes it harder. So let's see, I've got a total of 40 sets Let's get this done in less than an hour. So let me set the timer. I haven't started the music yet, but now we're counting down. All right, well, I guess it's go time. Uh, we will start with overhand, cool. This is gonna start very easy. And when I get to like my fifth or sixth set on each one of them, it's gonna start getting really hard. How do you want me to help you? Just lift my legs. Oh, uh, okay. Can you do that? Behind you. So can you jump and grab it? No. No? <laughs> do you want to move the, the this thing back, the bench back? I'll jump. You'll jump? Yeah. Okay. Do I do it this way or this way? Um probably try try underhand first, because there's a lot of biceps involved too. Oh, Ready? Three. <laughs> well I think what you should do though is use that as a step and then like jump up to the top and try to just hold yourself up there. Just for practice, because that's how I, like, <sighs> God, I'm out of breath already. Crap, I've only done three sets of five. <laughs> I'm screwed. My leg feels fine. Yeah, completely fine. I mean, there's more, there's like a lot of swelling, but there's no pain at all. I got a wicked cankle. See, this is why we need like a blocked off area because we could open that. Although it's a thousand degrees outside. Whew. All right, we are now uh, out of breath, sure. But we're halfway done. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but Whoop, get my head out of the way. Maybe it'll focus, maybe it'll focus, maybe it won't focus. Yeah. Overhand five, underhand five. We are very much ahead of schedule. I think maybe 
an hour for this was too much, but I have set my, uh, I've set my timer, I've set my limitations. I don't wanna go nuts, given this is the first like proper scheduled and designed workout I've had in over a week. Part of me is like, no, you should do more. You should do it heavier, you should do it more reps and you should like strain yourself more. But part of me is like, probably don't need to. <laughs> Maybe next time. We've opened the garage door and I have a workout buddy until Kyrie decides that she wants to hop in. But like I said, she already worked out a lot today. So she's gonna enjoy her uh, late morning coffee. Of course, as I started, I drip on my tally mark for the first time. Gross. <sighs> All right, we have three minutes left. I have one superset of back remaining and maybe I'll be an idiot and do two instead. done with a little bit more than 30 minutes left 30 almost 31 minutes left ticking down and my head out of the way 11 and 11 big old sweat mark gross but it's south florida it's hot i did not take into account the time required to align all this stuff properly but that's okay a little trial and error never kills anybody kind of okay so we are we appear to be ever so slightly askew if ever somebody steals all my stuff, I'll know it's mine because there's dog hair literally all over it. I am weight bearing accelerated and this leg has to be straight at pretty much all times, actually at all times. So I'm gonna, it's gonna look like I'm falling into this chair, but I'm actually under good control. <sighs> For those of you who are worried, because there's gonna be a couple of you. Crap, 24 and a half minutes to do this. All right, um, yep, this is fine. Five. So the first set, normal or standard, I guess. I have my pinky on the, on the ring here, which is about maybe a little bit wider than I normally do for a flat bench press. For the other one that's more tricep heavy, I'm gonna have the, the inside of my hand wrap around the inside of the knurling. So I don't know exactly how long this is, but it's pretty narrow. I think you can tell it's a little, little bit more narrow. Just by listening, look at it. You need 20 pounds or 25 pounds? 20s. 20s? Time to get yoked. Go until I tell you to stop. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Easy, come on. Nice, three more. Nice. Up. Oh. Nice, one more. Good, good, good. Okay. Nice. Alright, keep going. Nice. Two more. Oh. That's ten. No, that's nine. Come on. Nice. Good. Okay. <laughs> Trying to get out of a rep? How dare you? Maybe I'd maybe I forgot how to count. Stranger things have happened. Okay, I have nine minutes and change to finish. I don't think I'll be able to do it in an hour, but that's okay.
Oh God. Ha. Ha. Oh, almost didn't finish. Oh God. Oh, okay. 99 and three quarters is good enough for me. As I was saying, I actually you know to start with the pressing because that's definitely my weakness. And I should have ended with the pull because that's my strength. I probably would have gotten higher quality reps, higher quality sets if I started with the pressing movement. What I neglected was the racking and re-racking every single time I do a set, which is a lot. And I also neglected that time in addition to the Go ahead and sit down, buddy. <laughs> the time as well as the effort involved. So my last couple of sets were kind of squished together, which is probably why I couldn't get that 100th rep to completion. But I still managed to get it to almost completion. It wouldn't have counted, but in like a powerlifting event or anything like that, because like I didn't finish the rep. But I just wanted to get it racked because this is a cardiovascular uh, effort, I think, more than um, the strength training. Oh man. Something I noticed this morning is that this right leg looks like just a bag of goo. And I know that it takes at least two weeks before proper muscular atrophy starts and that the overwhelming majority of what people perceive as atrophy after they take a reasonable time off, like a week or two even, like if you're on vacation, for example, is that your muscle glycogen gets depleted because you're not using it. And where the glycogen goes, water will follow. So your muscles will have the same amount of muscle tissue in there, just not the same amount of water and glycogen in there. So. I'm hopeful that when I go to the doctor in a couple days, I get to start physical therapy exercises to kind of reawaken my quadriceps muscle. I've been doing a lot of reading on online with regards to what to do for PT with surrounding musculature. And I've been doing some of it. You know, I, I walk more than most people in my similar position and I'm very grateful that I can do that. But I think that's because I started with a lot more reserve than most people have. Reserve meaning that my conditioning and fitness and overall health prior to surgery was much better than most people. I'm not the pinnacle of health by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm, you know, I'm up there. I think if I get much more anal about my health, then my mental health will start to begin to degrade. There's a few things that I wanna do that I know will kind of enhance my life and make it better. See a lot of people trying to hyper optimize everything and you, I mean, I just go nuts, right? If you want to like have zero fun and the only thing you ever want to do is devote it to health and wellness and well-being with completely excluding like mental health and happiness, it's just like physical health, physical fitness and do that like 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365.25 days in a year. Yes, I did not forget about your leap year. That doesn't make sense to me. So there are a few things that I'm actively working on and have a chance to work on better now that I can't go to the gym and focus like I did on my workouts, I can focus on something different. This workout was, you know, kind of a, for me who's been doing this for 10, 11 years, kind of a mindless thing, right? I know I'm doing a lot of pressing movement, I'm doing mostly chest and mostly back. I'm also doing a good amount of biceps, a good amount of triceps and a good amount of shoulders. So this, as far as I'm concerned, was a good upper body workout. I have not sweated like this in a long time. And now that I'm done, there's a little bit of breeze coming in the garage. There wasn't one through the entire hour that I was exercising. Thanks for following along and watching me struggle. I hope this uh, allows you to see that even if somebody is considered ahead of you in fitness and health and well-being, the joy is in the struggle because it's a struggle that you get to push through and find a new struggle. And that's a sense of accomplishment. There's always a little bit of hit of dopamine when, you, when you're finished and you 
you know, you can say, I worked hard to do this. All right, I'm done.